It's time for In the Zone, sponsored by Academy Sports and Outdoor, Andrews Heating and Air Conditioning, Menards, Subway, Terre Haute Savings Bank, and Wabash Valley Sports. Now with the best gridiron show in the Wabash Valley, Rick Semler and Casey Miller. Good evening and welcome to In the Zone. The Indiana High School Football State Tourney got underway tonight. Pretty simple for our team's win and move on or lose and their season is over. Yep, we have action from 13 sectional games along with one game over in Illinois. And we'll also later in the show introduce you to this year's Sports 10 Spirit Award winner for the high school football season. That's right. West Vigo and Greencastle have played some pretty good games lately. The last three games between the Vikings and Tiger Cubs have all been decided by seven points or less, including a game earlier this season that Greencastle won 30-27 over West Vigo. The Vikings say they haven't forgotten about that week three loss. Could West Vigo Eagle get revenge tonight. Their section opener at Greencastle. Vikings down 7 0. Second quarter. It's October. They dip into their bag of tricks, pulling off the sweet flea flicker. Jarrett McAllister races to the end zone to tie the game at 7. Less than 15 seconds to play in the first half. McAllister bowls his way in. West Vigo takes a 14 7 lead into the break. Third quarter, Greencastle scores to cut their deficit to one at 14-13. Ensuing kickoff, it's that McAllister guy again. He picks up the squid kick, makes three Greencastle guys miss, says, see ya, wouldn't want to be ya. McAllister's third score of the game gives West Vigo a 22-13 lead. Greencastle would score the game's next 20 points to take a 33-22 lead. Things not looking good for West Vigo. West Vigo need to touch down and with the game McAllister had, they need to get him the ball, and they do. He scores for the fourth time in the game on the Jake Lottenslager screen. Vikings within three. Their ball with less than a minute to go. They're going for a tire of the win. They get neither because they get picked off, and that is your ball game. Heartbreak City tonight for West Vigo. Greencastle wins a thriller 33-30. This is the second time this season the Tiger Cubs have beaten the Vikings by three points. Casey. Few teams in our area enter the sectionals as hot as North Vermillion. The 1A 12th ranked Falcons enter the postseason winners of five straight games. North Vermillion looking to make it six in a row tonight at Rockville. Third quarter, Evan Weir on the run. He's stripped here, recovered by Rockville's Kyle Getz, and the Rocks take over. But they have some trouble holding on to the football. The snap is past the quarterback hit as he throws. And this ball is going to be intercepted. He'd like to have that back. Yep. Lucas Cook making the pick there. Going the other way. Falcons get the ball back. North V gives Weir a second chance. And he wouldn't make the same mistake twice. Stands up the defender and powers into the end zone. Rockville puts the football on the ground again. And Caleb Stevens makes them pay. He takes the ball 65 <laughs> yards all the way back to the other end zone. North V rolls over Rockville tonight. 55-7 final. And next up for North Vermillion will be the winner of Turkey Run and Covenant Christian tonight. Covenant Christian throwing to the far side here. Watch Jalen Peterson. He brings it all the way back across the field. He runs more yards sideways than it takes to get to the end zone. Covenant takes a two touchdown lead. The Warriors looking for more. Covenant runs up the middle. Colt Jones there to make the stop at the line of scrimmage. No gain there. Later, Danny Thurman passing for Turkey Run. He hits Jason Swinney wide open behind nice. the secondary, and he runs for a touchdown. It was the only score for Turkey Run in the game, though. Covenant Christian wins 55-6. to Riverton Park hosted 1A, number 9, Fountain Central. RP gets the ball first and picks up some positive yards. When Brogan Sanders finds Griffin Lyman, the Panthers would march into Fountain Central territory, facing fourth and four. RP with a fake punt, but FC not buying it. The Panthers come up short. The Mustangs would take their opening drive in for a score. Tim Ellis trots in from four yards out. Fountain Central takes care of business. 72 to 20 over RP. And coming up next, we'll check in on the state ranked Linton Miners and the Eastern Green T Birds. And we'll also see how North Central, North Davies, Owen Valley, and Northview did when in the zone returns. <laughs> 